Are tiny homes a good investment? Defining a tiny home If you're thinking about making the switch to a tiny home, you're not alone. In recent years, there's been a growing interest in these miniature dwellings. But are they really worth the investment? There are pros and cons to owning a tiny home. On the one hand, they're more affordable than traditional houses and require less maintenance. But on the other hand, they may not appreciate in value like a traditional home would. The Pros of Tiny Homes As the cost of living continues to rise, more and more people are downsizing their homes in an effort to save money. This has led to a surge in the popularity of tiny homes, which are usually under 400 square feet. While a tiny home may cost less upfront than a traditional home, there are some potential drawbacks that you should be aware of before making the decision to downsize. Less expensive Tiny homes are typically less expensive than traditional homes, which means they can save you money in the long run. However, they come with lower resale value and may be difficult to sell if you decide to move on. More expensive to heat tiny homes can be difficult to heat. Because of their small size, they are less able to retain the heat from your furnace. Less insulation The smaller size of tiny homes often means less insulation, which can lead to higher heating and cooling costs. Tiny home residents are typically looking for a simpler lifestyle that includes more time with friends and family. They also want to be more environmentally conscious by reducing their carbon footprint. More sustainable Tiny homes can be built using sustainable materials and practices. In addition, Tiny home communities often place a premium on recycling and composting. Solar power is also becoming more popular, as are alternative energy sources such as wind or hydroelectricity. Tiny homes are not for everyone. In general, tiny home residents are looking for a simpler lifestyle with less stress and more time with family and friends. They also want to be more environmentally conscious by reducing their carbon footprint. Tiny home communities are now cropping up all over the country. In fact, there is a growing trend of tiny homes, also known as small houses or micro homes. Tiny homes are typically defined as living spaces under 400 square feet. Tiny home communities are a great option for those looking to reduce their carbon footprint, simplify their life, and live mortgage free. Tiny homes have been in existence since the 1930s when the federal government first began funding public housing programs. More mobile. Tiny homes are easier to move than traditional homes. This makes them ideal for people who might want to travel more or relocate more often. Smaller space tiny homes are often much smaller than a traditional home, which makes them cheaper and less expensive to heat and cool. More affordable tiny homes can be built for less money than a traditional home. In the news, tiny homes are becoming more and more popular. Tiny home communities can be found in many U.S. states and countries around the world including Oregon, Washington, California, Colorado, Texas, New York, Florida, Pennsylvania, Maine, and Georgia. Tiny homes are all over the news. Several TV shows have featured them, and many people are talking about tiny homes as a possible solution to the affordable housing crisis in America. The Cons of Tiny Homes Tiny homes are different from traditional homes. Many people will feel more comfortable with the traditional home, even if it is less affordable than a tiny house. 
Some people who have lived in tiny homes for a long time say there are some things that they miss about traditional homes. Most tiny houses are less than 400 square feet. That is not a huge space, even for one person. If you are not used to living in small spaces, a tiny house will be uncomfortable for you. Limited space. This is one of the biggest downsides to tiny homes. They are very small, and that means that you need to be choosy about what you bring into the home. It's difficult to have a lot of friends over if you have a small group of friends who you share a lot with, that's great. But if you like having a large group of people over for parties and events, this might not be the best choice for you. Once you understand the downsides to tiny homes, it's easier to see why they do have many advantages. Lifestyle tiny homes are a great way to live in a big city. Because they are so small, they can be parked almost anywhere and they don't take up a lot of space. Lack of privacy. Small homes usually have small bedrooms, which means that you don't get a lot of privacy. This can be even more true if you have roommates. Lack of amenities. Tiny houses are so tiny that it's difficult to fit in a lot of things. Limited space. If you're the type of person who likes to have a lot of different things around the house, this might not be the best choice for you. No room for activities you probably won't be able to host a lot of get-togethers in a tiny home. Inconvenience Tiny homes are not always located in the best areas. This means that you might have to go through a lot of traffic just to get somewhere. Limited space for storage If you're someone who likes to keep things around the house, this might not be the best fit for you. Lack of privacy A tiny home is basically a glorified dorm room. You can't really do anything without someone knowing about it. Not enough space for kids if you have children, you might want to reconsider this option. The verdict, weighing the pros and cons. In recent years, the tiny home movement has been gaining popularity as a more sustainable and affordable alternative to traditional living arrangements. A recent study of tiny homes tells us that it is a good alternative to living in a cramped apartment. The study found that people who live in tiny homes are just as happy as those who live in larger homes, and they have a smaller ecological footprint. There are many reasons why someone might choose to downsize into a tiny home. For some, it is a more sustainable way of living, as they can reduce their energy consumption and waste production. Others find that tiny homes are more affordable than traditional houses or apartments freeing up money for other purposes such as travel or retirement savings. And for many people, living in a tiny home simply feels more authentic and closer to nature. Conclusion As the world population continues to grow, many people are looking for more efficient and affordable housing options. One popular option that has been gaining traction in recent years is the tiny home. Tiny homes are usually less than 400 square feet and can be built on a trailer or other small piece of land. Many people are drawn to tiny homes because they are more affordable and easier to maintain than traditional homes. But are they a good investment? There are pros and cons to investing in a tiny home. On the plus side, tiny homes are usually much cheaper than traditional homes. Tiny homes are a good investment for those looking to downsize and live a more sustainable lifestyle. The initial cost of a tiny home may be higher than a traditional home, but the long-term savings on utilities and maintenance make tiny homes a wise investment. For people who value their time and money, tiny homes offer the perfect solution.